The Caravan Channel. Sponsored by Adrian Flux Insurance. For some time, Jeep was a sleeping giant in the UK with slow sales and a rough and ready model lineup. But over the past couple of years, the giant has well and truly woken up. Sales are through the roof and the model range, including this car, the Grand Cherokee 4x4, is much improved. First sold in 2010, but heavily revised in 2013, today's Grand Cherokee is a world away from the crude previous generation. It's still a big, heavy car. The curb weight is more than 2.3 tonnes, but it's now better to drive and to travel in. The engine is one of the Jeep's strong points. It's not whisper quiet, but I find the deep bass rumble from under the bonnet quite appealing. And it's certainly not short of pulling power. With the Bailey Unicorn Cordoba we've been towing, it was able to pull car and caravan from 30 to 60 in just 8.7 seconds. The eight-speed automatic changes gear smoothly to make the most of all that muscle, and paddles behind the steering wheel allow the driver to take charge of the box it preferred. But however powerful the engine and slick the gearbox, many big 4x4s now better the Jeep's fuel economy and emissions. An official combined figure of 37.7 miles per gallon is uncompetitive when the new Volvo XC90 diesel returns 49.6 mpg. Stability at speed is very good. The car tows straight and true unless the wind really picks up and even then only slight steering inputs are needed. We'd happily tow long distances with the Jeep. The Jeep wasn't quite so composed in our lane change test though, with some pushing and shoving from the caravan. However, we've no complaints about the Grand Cherokee's brakes, which took just 10 metres to stop car and caravan from 30 miles per hour. That's one of the shortest stopping distances we've recorded for some time. As well as towing well on tarmac, the Jeep should easily pull away from a muddy pitch, thanks to its low ratio gearbox, the select terrain system and its full-time four-wheel drive. Inside, today's Grand Cherokee is very different from the previous generation, with a much higher standard of finish and an easy-to-use touchscreen infotainment system. High-spec overland models like our test car are absolutely loaded with standard kit. Despite its size though, rear legroom isn't very generous. What's more, the Grand Cherokee has five seats, whereas many rivals offer seven as standard or as an option. The boot should cope with a caravaner's holiday luggage, although the distance from the boot floor to the luggage cover is surprisingly shallow. The Grand Cherokee has its faults. For a big 4x4, the rear seats are surprisingly cramped, and new arrivals offer better economy and lower emissions. As a tow car, though, the big Jeep still delivers. Adrian Flux Insurance, proud sponsors of The Caravan Channel.